What's going on guys? I'm back again with another Black Ink Crew re review. Before we get into it, subscribe, like, comment, not comment, yeah, like, comment, and share. <laughs> Excuse me, uh-oh. So, whew, uh, last night episode was, uh, it was okay. You know, it was some moments that had me laughing or whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna just kick it off. So the show kicks off, Tatiana and Teddy, they outside, they talking about, you know, what had happened tonight before Walt getting fired, Caesar bugging out, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, Ted was like, he hasn't seen Caesar that upset in like a long, long time. So, you know, he had to really be feeling the ways, you know, about, excuse me, about the situation <clears throat> with Walt and just whatever is going on in Caesar's head. And I'm just like, <sighs> I mean, that's typical Caesar to me, but <clears throat> I'm just watching from home. So anyways, then Walt comes outside bugging, making a scene. He upset that he got fired, I understand. You know, asking what's going on. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He, why Caesar called me out like that in front of all these people that we didn't know? You know what I'm saying? Like, he felt like Caesar was picking on him specifically. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, first off, I'm, Caesar got a lot. Look, man, the man got half a meal invested into this shop. The last thing he need is, oh my bad, or oh I'm sorry, I you know I'll do better next time. No, half a million dollars. This is a business at the end of the day. And what kills me about both of these black inks. This one in Chicago, not so much Chicago anymore, but like, man, they just, it's, it's friends and family over business. And I just, I don't understand it. But then, so Walt going on and on about that. Then Donna and Alex pop out. And Donna feeling the ways, asking what's going on and why she got fired. And she talks about how she ain't really too worried about it because she always gets fired and it never sticks. And I'm just watching the episode. And I'm just saying to myself, I hope it stick this time. Cause like she getting on my nerves, like real, real. Like she really getting on my nerves. And I know that maybe they feel like they need Donna for some reason, but <clears throat> I don't know why she get on my nerves. So you know they talk about you know she talking about how Caesar always find her. And uh, she, this, this girl had the nerve to say that she one of the best artists, tattoo artists that Caesar has. Man, once again, she must be completely forgot that we seen those tattoos that she did last season. She must be completely forgot about those tattoos. I mean, I don't follow her on Instagram or anything like that. Shoot, I don't even have an Instagram. So I don't know what she's been doing ever since, but I can still see that blackout tattoo that she did in my head and it was horrible, horrible. So anyway, and I just thought it was funny. One of the best tattoo, she don't ever bring no money into the shop. I don't ever see nobody come in. The, you know, she had maybe like what, one, two, three tattoos last season. Not to say that they were recording every day, but she, I, I mean, come on. And so anyway, Tatiana, she was like, she gonna call the crew, the rest of the crew in New York, so they can come down and help with this grand opening or whatever the case may be. Then moving on, we get a scene where, I believe it was um, Sky, Tatiana, um, or whatever, and Donna comes in talking about she got an idea that'll help save the shop. Sky laughing, and so, and so am I, because you know, it's funny that out of all people with ideas, Donna. You know what I'm saying? And Scott was like, you ain't never got no idea. Like, you you are far from the brains operation for this shop. And she is. Like, Donna is, I just, I don't know, man. She irritates me, man. Like, ever since the way they, the, the way that she kicked off this season with Matt being mad at Alex for going to New Orleans, like, I just... I already didn't like her, but now it's just on a different level. Anyway, so apparently, you know, she had a good idea is that they're going to 
get in some bikinis, some thongs, and walk all up and down Bourbon Street with the black ink signs promoting the business. Yada, 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 yada. So anyway, we get a knock on the door. Scott took it upon herself to invite Allison and Elliot, you know, her almost baby daddy um, from last season, to help with the craziness that's going on with the shop. And all I can think of in that moment is they don't even work at the shop. How they gonna help? They not from New Orleans. They don't know nobody. They obviously just come in a party with you. How are they going to help the shop? It's bad enough the people that work for Caesar can't help the shop. So what are, what your two best friends gonna do besides help turn up? Anyways, so you know, Tatiana, we then we get we, you know, then we get another knock on the door. It's Kit and Jada. And you know, Tatiana, you know what I'm saying, her feelings, as you know what I'm saying. You know, well, she just like, why Jada here? I invited Kit, not Jada, you know, for blah, blah, blah. So, anyways, <coughs> excuse me. They getting ready to toast, take a shot, and already we got drunk. Tatiana, but you know, it's, but you know what? You know what? Tatiana need to know. Because last time she was dancing with Teddy, Jada was. You know, acting away. She showed I don't know, girl. So from this point, she's just Jada. Is there anybody that you effing with? Let me know right now so I know to stay away from them and won't be no issue. So that was the issue for Jada. Jada was just like, <clears throat> don't worry about what I got going on over here. Don't worry about who I'm opening my legs for. You know what I'm saying? And um Jada said, you know, she better be happy that she ain't messing with nobody. Because she ain't had to beat her up this time. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so y'all know they get into it. They fight. Tatiana throw some beer or some lemonade or whatever it was out of. They fight. Yada, yada, yada. Tatiana pulls off the blue wig, which I thought was a sewing. My bad. R.I.P. to the wig. The blue wig. And, um, you know... And, and then let me tell you what I thought about in this moment. Because, you know, I'm trying to remember and go through my notes at the same time. I promise it'll be better. All I can think about in this moment is Teddy. And let me tell you why. Does it seem like the only women that Teddy could, you know, you know for, could get with, can, can get with, is the women that work, in, you know, in the shop. I don't see him doing too much with women outside the shop, so... He, you know, he makes me think that he's that friend that always you got to bring the woman, the females too. You know what I'm saying? And he just work on them like that. Like he can't never just go out and get a woman. That's the only thing I can think of. Like he always messing with somebody that's in the shop. He never like maybe maybe we wouldn't have all this drama if he could just meet a decent young woman that don't work in the shop and date her. Um, or, you know, mess with her, whatever he want to do. But it seems as though all his women come from working in the shop. And it just like, you know, it just blew my mind. But anyway, that's what I thought. Then Donna pissed me off because she going to call Tatiana fake and tell Tatiana it took everything and getting her not to hit her. And I'm just like, you ain't even got nothing to do with this, sis. First of all, you need to have several seats. Every man that is employed by Black Ink has been in your drawers. So you need to hush. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't mind sleeping, sharing a man with other people, don't mean that these girls over here do. Know your place, your role, and most of all, your value. I don't like them. So anyways, uh, Kit was just like, she should have left Jada home, which is true. She should have. Because Jada just seemed like she just coming to start some problems. Then we get a scene at the shop. Uh, Ace. So anyway, then we get a scene at the new shop. Caesar there, he's the only one there. Ace ends up pulling up. And, you know, Caesar having a conversation with Ace about, um, you know, how opening up this shop is so stressful. And he feels like he's alone. He's the only one putting work in. That everybody just pretty much out there to party and Ace was just like everybody else got overwhelmed with New Orleans because it's a party city. 
And that's, that, that is what it looks like. I mean, seriously, that's what it looks like. And you know, Caesar went on to talk about he got a family feed, make sure he got a daughter to put through college, all this, all this. I feel him, which is why he got a lot on his mind. The stress is at an all time high. And, you know what I'm saying? I understand when he comes. He, he has a lot riding on this shop. And nobody else has any money investing into this shop. So they, they don't understand. So then Walt pulls up. He want to talk about him being fired. Listen, let me set my phone down. So Walt, this is what I took. Walt is upset. Walt is so mad because he, he like he really mad. But he, he like, how you gonna talk to me like that in front of these new people? They don't know us. They don't know what's going on. Oh, don't talk to me like that in front of new people. How you gonna just call me a drunk and all of that? You know what I'm saying? Like he just keep going on and on. He just kept making it. He just kept putting emphasis on why you talk to me like that in front of these people. First of all, wasn't nobody there. Wasn't nobody there but y'all. It wasn't no new people. I mean, Ace, he knew, but it wasn't nobody there. Sit down, have several seats. He called you out, live with it. Then Caesar tells him, basically, shut up. You done talking. And Caesar tell him, like, I got so much on the line with this shop. If I fail, everybody fail. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just like, Walt just, Walt just so upset to think that Caesar quote unquote single him out for something that he didn't do. But anyway, Caesar goes on his rant about he got so much invested in the shop and he just his stress at an all time high. You know what I'm saying? He didn't mean nothing by it and him and Walt reminisce about the old times, how they went came up from the mud together and as you know, Walt get his job back because Caesar don't never really fire nobody. But he did apologize for calling him a drunk in front of everybody. But um I mean, it wasn't nobody there. It was just literally the Black Ink crew and Ace. So if he, like, well, we watch you on TV. We know what you, we get. Anyway, so moving on, Kit takes charge of the whole grand opening. She assigns everybody a role uh, to do something. And you know, Caesar, he shows up and he just like, man, I'm surprised y'all even here working. Like, this is a surprise. He see Donna, he asks Donna why she there. If she's fired, that he's not paying her any money for anything that she's doing. And Donna had to call out Walt and was like, Walt was fired too. I can't stand her. That's so childish. You're going to get in trouble with the teacher, but you're going to make sure that your man's getting in trouble with your own white people. That, that, look here, if you can't go down by yourself, then, then, then do right. Do what you're supposed to do. You should have stayed in New York and handled what, you know, whatever in New York he needed, needed you to handle. But anyways, Walt let her know, like, I got my job back. And then she made the comment that I know y'all cold. She she said, shoot, you barely paying us anyway. So I'm just like, barely paying you. Why stay around? Why keep working? And first of all, you a tattoo artist, so you you know what I'm saying? You, you generate your own income. The more tattoos you do, the more income you bring in. So obviously, you ain't doing no tattoo, girl. <laughs> so anyway, Sky's supposedly gonna be the bartender. She sucks. Caesar lets, lets her know that she suck. Um, then we get a scene where Melody, she arrives. You know, she she loves the new shop, but you know, she came down, she, she came down to meet her family. And I'm gonna address that when it's time. Oh, I promise I am. I ain't gonna go in because it's a sensitive subject, but I'm gonna talk about it. Anyway, so she got a client coming in and get a pic of the, a picture of their mom who recently passed away. And uh, you know, Mel just talks about, you know what I'm saying, that the shock that she's gonna experience from meeting her family. Like tomorrow, I said, well, she, oh, excuse me, she said, I, I don't know. She said, I said, Mel talks about being in shock for meeting her, you know what I'm saying, her uh, mother's side of the family. And I'm just like, I don't know why. They racist. They don't want y'all. They don't want to talk to y'all. Why are you even going down this path? Like, I just don't like when I feel like a storyline is being pushed on them, you know what I'm saying, on one of the characters in the show, but also on us. And I just, anyway, the tattoo was nice. It was, a, you know, a nice tattoo. So moving on, Ted and Ty today out. Once again, somebody in the shop. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I just threw it out there. So basically they talking about, you know, how everybody, especially the females in the shop, get Tatiana a hard time. And basically they both saying she don't deserve that, that she contributes a lot to the shop. 
and that um, you know Jada and all the rest of the girls they bullied her for no reason and all she do is bring value to the shop and um, y'all already know how this end uh, Ted made his move on her you know what I'm saying whatever so he just he really feeling her for some reason then we get the scene where the crew is walking down Bourbon Street promoting, don't care about that. So then we get the scene, Melody go meets her cousin. He is already late when they are recording. And Mel is saying how she feels she made the wrong decision because, you know, her family didn't care about her mama. What? Why would they care about her? Ding, 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 ding. Why you couldn't think about that before you even decided to come down here, set up the... Your mama told you. Your mama told you they ain't no good. They don't mean no good. They don't wish you no good. And I'm just like, mama always know best. My, my mama be knowing what she be talking about. So she called mama and let mama know that, you know what I'm saying, cuz, cuz didn't show. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I mean, you knew he didn't want to meet you. When you was picking the phone, when you picked the phone and called old boy, he was like, I don't really know. Man, look here, man. Look here. Leave well enough alone and keep living. You know what I'm saying? Let's not open up Pandora's box because we don't know what's in there. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, all I saw from that scene was mama all the way right. Maybe they, my, my mama, she, I mean, she, she be wrong sometimes. You know, they be wrong sometimes, but for the most part, they all the way right. So anyway, moving on. And the grand opening party looked like it turned out well. Uh, you know, so, and, and they mentioned by Jada got into it with Tatiana again at the house the night before, the, earlier that day or whatever. So Jada couldn't come, you know, Walt turning up sober and um, Skye's giving herself all these props that, you know, the bar is lit. And then Sky pulls a Sky. She gets upset because she is, because of the cup, the shot glass or the shot cup, that Caesar bolt, the Caesar bolt, the shot cups, the Caesar bolt, the Bose bolt. She got mad at the bartender because she was pouring the liquor into the cups, the Caesar bolt. And she basically telling the girl that she ain't drinking out of that. She too good for that. Um, mm, so the girl was like, you know, you bougie or whatever. Scott didn't like that, right? Y'all, y'all Sky fans. I'm not, not a Sky fan at all. So anyway, so Scott gonna try to fight the bartender. Oh, look, and, 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 and I'm gonna tell you what pissed me off about this scene is the fact that I don't know what kind of relationship Sky Caesar has, but he checks every Body else. He even checked Ted a couple of times. When Sky does something, he just sit back, let it happen, and say in the confessional, you know, I'm trying to run a business. I don't need the craziness right now. He never checked Sky. And he wonder why it, it just bothers me. You call out Walt, you call out Donald, you call out any and everybody else. But when Sky turn up on somebody, and, 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 and like, look, let's be serious. The, the thing is, the, none of them should be working for him because I don't think none of them make no money for him other than the tattoo artist. But it's none of my business. It's his decision, his business. But it just kills me that every time Sky does something, he just sit in the back like he's scared to say something. And he continues to pay her. Like, anyway, so moving on. So, you know what I'm saying? He, he, so the police show up the ambulance show up it's an incident down the road has nothing to do with season okay deep breath let's get back to party right so then a new tattoo artist heard that uh alex hired you know he's been introduced to everybody and he didn't know who sky was and she was insulted who you don't know me you better know me i'm the hb i'm the, you know she went there with that man. That man don't know you. That man don't, he probably ain't got cable. He probably ain't watch Black Ink. He just trying to tattoo me some money. He, Sky, she feels a ways that the guy didn't know and he, and she called a man stupid and dumb. And I'm just like, Caesar, 
You gonna step in, boss man? But see, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. If that was anybody else making a scene, he would have stepped in. He would have tried to discipline them. He would have tried to fire them. Anything. Scott, hey, you know, don't worry about it. You know, still let, let Scott be Scott. So I'm going to move on since Caesar said let Scott be Scott by his action. So obviously, um, Jada, she shows up and Kit, like, what you doing here, girl? Like, you got to go, blah, blah, blah. Jada on this power trip talking about ain't nobody gonna tell me where I can and cannot be. I'm down here to help Black Ink, yada, yada, yada. So, man, Jada goes to see Tatiana. She she claims that she just wanna talk with Tatiana and put all this foolishness behind her, right? So Ted told Tatiana like, no, nah, I got this one. You know what I'm saying? Ted was just like, Ted told Jada like, you are not allowed here. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm just like, look at Ted trying to, you know, do, you know what I'm saying, do some managing or whatever his position is. And so, you know, one thing led to another. He ends up firing Tatiana, or not Tatiana, but Jada because of how she was acting, yada, yada, yada. Then Caesar comes over trying to be the peacemaker. He was like, what's going on? You know, I can't do So Ted tells Caesar, this B, she got to go. She fired. So Jada crying. And you know what I'm saying, talking to all this trash about Ted being good for nothing. He, you know, not being good for nothing, but sitting on the couch. And so Caesar asked Ted, this is really what you want. And Ted said, she gotta go. You know what I'm, I'm tired. This, this was some growth from Ted. Now I wouldn't admit it was with a woman, it wasn't with a man, but you know, you, you know he's hit with women. He just let him run all over or whatever. He said, I'm tired of sitting back and not speaking up. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's time to speak up. And I don't know if this is because he really liked Tatiana or he really just trying to speak up because he got a role within the shop. So, um, you know, Caesar ends up double down it. He, he doubled down the firing. Uh, Caesar tells Tatiana, not Tatiana, Jada that she got to go. But then Caesar make this statement and he said that if they, if nobody, if they can't act professional, they got to go. And I was just like, so Sky needs to go. She, she trying to fight. Your bartender gone. You didn't go chase to bring back because you were down a bartender. You didn't do that, boss man. You just let Scott ran her off. Now people, you know, the overflow of the, okay. You knew tattoo artist, didn't know who she, so she assaults him, calls him stupid, dumb. So Scott can act inappropriate. Scott can act unprofessional and keep her job, but everyone else can't. I just don't understand Mr. Caesar Black Ink. <laughs> but anyways, you know, it's his business though. You know, he runs how he wants to. I'm just saying from my point of view, you need to, you know, if you're gonna hold everybody else to a standard, you need to hold Scott to a standard. But anyway, that's all I got guys. It was a long day at work, I'm telling you. But be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.